The second piece of data that needed to be understood and acknowledged that brought the actual resolution, uh, non-surgical resolution of this problem into view was something that every dentist knows and learns in dental school. And that is the majority of load on this joint load pressure utilization 90 percent is via the posterior teeth in other words another way to say that is 90 percent of the loads on the temporomandibular joint come from the posterior teeth that is why you crack nuts with your back teeth not your front teeth because the front teeth don't allow large loadings you can't the the uh, nociceptors the proprioceptors that encompass or surround teeth that's why you can't crack nuts with your front teeth they don't allow that kind of pressure but the back teeth do and 90 percent of the loads are on the back teeth and so that is something that every dentist knows and of course physicians don't know but being both a physician and a dentist it took kind of both areas of general knowledge that brought the whole concept and solution into view and the third and literally final piece of data that brought the solution and understanding into view was something that arrived to me during my rotation in orthopedic surgery, in my orthopedic rotation at Vanderbilt with one of my orthopedic resident buddies who said, you need to learn about tennis elbow. 